hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back to another ride with me video uh, i am so excited for today's lesson it's literally been like two weeks since i've had a lesson first lessons were canceled and then i was away and then i got really sick so it's been literally so long so i'm so sorry there hasn't been a new video your girl's been out of commission but back to a lesson today i'm so excited but so nervous i'm worried that i totally forgot how to ride and i'm concerned for the pain that my legs are going to be in tomorrow morning um but i'm super excited i can't wait to see who i'm riding let's go So I just got to the barn, but one last thing I forgot to mention, I actually did just make an Instagram. It's Ride with Clara. So feel free to follow me on there if you want. You don't have to. Okay, let's go ride. So normally, if we go to the geldings, we get them from there and go to the barn there. But who are these guys? These are some new arrivals. Okay, so when I first pulled up, I literally thought we had some loose horses, um, but this is just like a little makeshift paddock that um, my trainer has made for them. So essentially, she rescued them from kind of a bad situation, which is why mama is looking super skinny, but she's gonna fatten them up, make sure that they're healthy, and then sell them. These are the new additions. Hi, Philo. So today I'm riding Philo. I did a poll a couple days ago um, just to see who you guys thought I would be riding next. And not a lot of people actually guessed Philo. Um, I've only ever ridden him once before, so he's not one of my regulars. So I was surprised to see him, but super happy. I did really, really like him the last time that I rode him. I thought he was like really smooth and really fast and really fun and just a very sweet boy so I'm excited to get to spend some more time with him and get to know him a little bit better. Excuse me Philo, can I get by? Anyone else find the sounds of horses eating super therapeutic or is it just me? Honestly, anything that they do, I find therapeutic. I could watch them graze for hours, play in the field. They're just so interesting. Um, but now I'm just picking out Philo's feet and picking out hooves is my favorite thing and honestly my least favorite thing at the exact same time. I love doing the front feet, um, but I don't like doing the back feet. I think it's a little bit more uncomfortable for them and I find that they always like initially lift their leg like way too high and it just makes me nervous. I feel like they're gonna kick me. Um, I trust these horses very very much so I know that they would never do that but it just kind of makes me nervous and they hold their feet really really heavy, um, especially Philo like he's got some big feet and they're actually like really heavy especially if he just goes dead weight interesting fact about philo i just found out that his breed is a cross between a clydesdale and an arabian i can see the clydesdale but i was a little bit surprised by the arabian he's like what hello sir oh you're so cute now it's time to get philo's bridal all sorted and get him bridled philo philo i know you're hungry but okay finish chewing because then i have to stick a piece of metal in your mouth Want some water yeah just one second He's thirsty conveniently. <laughs> and then he's gonna be like, Yeah. He's like, Oh, this salt lick looks nice. <laughs> Milo. He's like, Wait, I'm still thirsty. <laughs> you can't stall. You're out of water. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Ooh. 
Good boy. Sloppy boy. Excuses, boy. I find it hilarious that the second you pull out the bridle, some horses will just stall. All of a sudden, they're so thirsty. Oh wait, they're so hungry. Wait, what's over here? I just think it's so funny. But now that he's all ready, we're going to head out to the outdoor arena and get ready for a ride. A bucket with a sponge. Have a good time. Thank you. Good boy. Itchy spot. That must be nice. So this is the perfect weather to ride outside. There's a nice breeze, the sun is overcast, and it's just absolutely perfect. Good boy. As always, I'm going to check my tack before getting on Philo, and I'm going to tighten the girth and check my stirrups before getting on. So last time I rode Philo, I tightened the girth and it felt super, super tight. And then when I got on him, the girth was actually really, really loose because he's a puffer. He puffs his belly out like a puffer fish. So I'm fully expecting to have to tighten the girth again after I get on. Look at this handsome gentleman. Hey buddy. All right guys, so I am officially back in the saddle after being off for two weeks. First impressions, my legs are gonna be absolutely destroyed tomorrow, I can already tell. And we tried to move the wagon and it got away from us. <laughs> yeah, Philo's like, what it is that? What the hell, it almost hit my horse trailer. <gasps> oh, thank God I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Philo's like, I don't trust it. <laughs> So as you can see, there is a big, scary red wow. object into the side of the arena. I've only ever ridden Philo once before, so I'm not certain if he's spooky. I don't really think he is. I didn't get that impression from him, but I just wanted to give him a chance to check it out, give it a little sniff, realize that it's not going to hurt him. The last thing I want is as we're trotting past it for him to all of a sudden realize it, spook at it, and throw me into the big metal trailer um, so gave him a chance to check it out before we started trotting so my first impression back on philo was he's not as smooth as i remember him being it could just be me I've been off for two weeks, so I'm probably a little bumpier than I normally would be, but I do remember him being quite smooth and this trot felt kind of choppy. Again, probably just me. I've been off for some time. Um, riding past the trailer a couple times, I could tell he's still kind of like looking at it. Um, he's not really phased by it. Um, I just really don't want him to try and jump over the plank of wood sticking out. So I did try to like really make him go around it. Um, so the first exercise going down the arena here, we're just doing two point over the line of poles. Um, so I definitely felt like my lower leg was a little wobbly today. There was a lot of things that I was trying to remember um, that had been corrected previously. So just trying to work on that. Thank you. So after a few rounds of that, it was time for us to change rain and then try it going up the arena. So although Philo may have been fine with the trailer going on to the left, uh, doesn't mean that he's not gonna spook on it going the other way. Horses are so weird like that. Um, he did kind of give it the side eye, but after that look, he was totally fine.
My left hand. After a couple rounds going up the arena over the poles doing two point, it was time to do a lap of sitting trot. And I was really glad for this because I definitely feel like my sitting trot needs some work, but I felt really good today. Okay, then it was time to take a walk break and then we were going to go around and practice our canter. I was feeling a little bit nervous because I remember Philo having a really fast canter and for some reason the horses are always a little bit faster outside, but let's go and get this done. So as you can see, I was having lots of trouble getting Philo to pick up the canter. This is his left lead, so it's not like he has trouble with this at all. Um, but after this a second failed attempt here, I kind of realized that I was holding him back a little bit. I think I was definitely unintentionally pulling on the reins. So here I gave him a little bit more rein and we picked up the canter. Whoa, Philo. I feel like I've never ridden a day in my life. Can't do your first lesson. Okay. Okay, hold on. Come on. Yeah, I feel like I want my stirrups shorter for the canter. <sighs> All right. I feel like he's not as smooth as I remember him being. <gasps> yeah, I was like, he's so smooth. So that felt absolutely horrendous. I felt like a wet sack of garbage just flailing about on his back. I felt like I couldn't sit it. I felt, I honestly felt like I was posting, um, just like totally out of rhythm, totally out of it. I had a hard time getting him to pick up the canter. It just felt absolutely awful all around. Um, my trainer mentioned I was definitely leaning way too far forward and I definitely felt that. I had no stirrups for a moment there. Oh, that's why you're sitting so well. I know. Okay, good boy. That was lovely. Let's try it again. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. You want to wait? Okay. Whoa. Easy. Like I shouldn't even be riding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it literally feels like it's like you've never been on a horse. Why are you going this fast? <laughs> Thank you. I know. But Monday will be better. I'm glad it's only like two days in between as opposed to like a whole week because you're doing wonderful Philo. Thank you for putting up with me. That time was a little bit better. Honestly, still didn't feel great. I felt like my seat was the best when I lost my both my stirrups. Um, I don't know why that is. I honestly just felt way more comfortable and like I could actually sit the canter. And that time was just particularly hard because I felt like I actually had to do a lot of steering. I didn't want him to jump over that plank of wood, so I had to steer him around him. I had to steer it around the poles, and I've never actually had to steer before. So add that into the mix and you get this disaster as it was. Um, but now we're just taking a quick break and then we're actually going to do a course and we're going to do canter in the course, which I've never done before. So that'll be fun. over your rainbow pole back to trot at the gate uh, sit trot across the diagonal pick up left lead canter canter down the long side back to trot at the gate again over your rainbow pole and then halt in a straight line So again, I was having trouble Philo pick up his canter the first time I asked. I was going to ask again on the second corner, and if he still didn't pick it up, I was going to circle and try again. Left lead canter was good. He picked it up right away, um, but he did end up dropping the canter too soon. I didn't have enough leg on him.
I don't know why I was kissing there. I was not asking him to pick up the canter. Just, I guess I got in the habit of it. I should not have been kissing at him. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so first canter course and first canter pull. So that was actually not that bad. We had trouble picking up the right lead canter um, and my steering honestly wasn't great. Definitely cut some corners off and I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I kissed at him over the poles. I was definitely not asking him to canter. Um, so there was just a lot to think about on my half, but overall, I think we did okay. So this time he didn't break to canter too early. We broke the canter at the gate as we were supposed to, but I did lose my left stirrup. So I was trying to get it back. And in that frenzy, he did break to a walk. So a little bit of an error there. And then over these poles, he was definitely not supposed to canter. Um, he just went for it. So our halt didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I lost it at like the end though, right? Okay, so that's an improvement. I'll take it. <laughs> but he's like, I want to canter after these pulls. And I was like, you the boss. <laughs> So honestly, that was so, so fun. I can't wait to keep practicing courses with canter and transitions and to keep my stirrups. That is my number one goal for my next lesson is to not lose my stirrups while cantering and honestly just have a better seat because that was terrible. It was feeling like okay by the end of the lesson. Um, after next lesson will be even better, um, but it honestly just wasn't great. It felt super foreign and I felt like a beginner all over again um but honestly i can't be too upset it was pretty good um i'm just putting philo into the outdoor cross ties there isn't actually any room in the barn for the big guy right now um he does have another lesson in just a little bit so i'm just going to um leave him here and hang out with him until there is room in the barn and then i will put him in a stall and then his next rider will come along and get him ready hello no you must stay 
Hey guys, so my lesson is all done now and I'm just about to head home, but just a little post-writing reflection. Philo was great. He was honestly such a star for putting up with me. Me, on the other hand, I probably did some of my worst writing I've ever done. Um, but I shouldn't be too hard on myself because I did have two weeks off and like the trot was fine, but it was the canter that really got me. And honestly, this is still a new skill for me. I'm still trying to feel comfortable in it, still trying to keep my stirrup. So when you take two weeks off and then you come back to that, I felt terrible. I just felt like I couldn't ride. I felt like it was my first time ever on a horse. And Philo was wonderful for putting up with me because sometimes I literally felt my butt like slamming on his back and I was like, oh, what am I doing? I suck. Oh, but first time back after a while, that's something to be proud of. I didn't fall off and Philo was wonderful. Um, I have another lesson in a couple of days. So I'm determined to just do better than this time. Just do better. Even if it's like a little bit better, just do better. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.